Steve Bryan. Thanks very much, Mr. Deputy Speaker. I'm obviously pleased that we've reached step 4A of the roadmap, but I'm keen to understand what lies behind the month-long gap between July the 19th, when it does feel as if we don't believe in our vaccines as much as we might, and August the 16th when we do. So can I ask my honourable friend, what is the scientific basis for the decision to give my fully vaccinated constituents their real freedom after the middle of next month, but not now? Thank you very much, Mr Deputy Speaker, and I thank my honourable friend for his excellent question, as always, the member for Winchester. And although most restrictions obviously have been uh, lifted and many people have now been vaccinated, as I've been setting out, it is still possible, obviously, to catch and spread uh, uh, COVID, even if you are fully vaccinated. So introducing this exemption uh, 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 in August will allow more people to be fully vaccinated, as I mentioned earlier in earlier Answer. Unlike in previous waves, uh, Mr Deputy Speaker, the rise in cases driven by the Delta variant is not translating into significant increases in hospitalisation and death. And this is due to the, I think, the effectiveness of the vaccines at reducing that risk of transition and severe illness.